Arturo Music Man, are you guys looking forward to the new M- Mission Impossible? I think Henry Cavill looked awesome in it. I agree. Yep. Man, that trailer was really cool. All the trailers look really good. And Henry Cavill looks more menacing than he was in Justice League when he came back and he was super pissed off and he had everybody by the throat. Yeah. And that mustache looks real good. Real good. Real good. <laughs> yes, totally. The uh, I think Mission Impossible would be mustache. sweet. Uh, Nick, my favorite movie you definitely need to see is called Nick, Show Me Bobs and Vagina. I don't think that's really no. a big one. <laughs> uh, I think it was Lord of the Rings for me because everyone was excited for that. Good call, yeah. See, but that one, the first Lord of the Rings came out in the winter. It was a December release, if I remember correctly. But Weren't they all December releases, though? I think so, but they yeah. were still awesome. Yeah, Mission Impossible. To that point, the new one looks exciting. Yeah. They've been doing really well Forgot with it. Forgot about that one, you're right. Um, And then also Bohemian Rhapsody. We saw the trailer last night in the theaters. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Two nights ago. I guess some trailer talk. Mission Impossible trailer, have you seen it? Uh, I've seen it once. Yes. Did yeah. you, are you like you're actually stoked for it? I, I am, and I'm, that's different for me because I'm actually after like the first or second Mission Impossible, I kind of stopped caring. For sure, but you. But saw, this one, I was like, okay, I could watch it again. Like, but I have you get seen back Ghost Protocol? Uh, no, actually, I haven't seen that Man. one. No. Okay. Number two sucked. Yeah. Number one was great. Yeah. At least for me, I liked. Yeah, it. yeah. And it's a classic. Uh, Number three was good, but Ghost Protocol was bonkers. Okay. Uh, the fifth one, which I'm ban- blanking on on the name, bonkers good, like real good. Okay. And then this one looks like it's following in that. Like they really turn the series around. You really need to see okay. it. Okay, I'll, I'll um, get caught up. And it'll make more sense to everything going on. Uh, but that was that trailer looked really, really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cliff Jumper 88, please don't jump. <laughs> I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. me. Yeah. So Bohemian Rhapsody trailer. Yeah. I've seen it a couple times. It was in the theater last night mm-hmm. or the night before when we were watching Deadpool 2. What did you think of it? You know what? That's I'm, like your era too. Like, it, it, well, I mean, no, it's of. before my a little era. Bit before, yeah, I'm but... not that old. I'm I'm old, but I'm not that old. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? Like, I think it'll be. I'd like to see how they do the movie. Yeah. Um, I agree with when you said like there are some points where where he looked like him, and other points where he really didn't. Which is really tough because they were gonna go with Sasha Baron Cohen to do it. Yeah. And I don't know. Um, I don't know if he would have been right for it, but he might have looked closer to he the would part. have looked closer but i don't know and again we haven't seen the movie yet to say what the well how the how he did with it but yeah. i you know what i i think the trailer looked pretty good i yeah. i would see the movie to to say it's like something i'm anticipating and really want to go check out i'm not going to go that far but um i do think that uh they they did a great job with it and, mm-hmm. and he did look really close to him like you know especially like the later freddie mercury like he looked really close to him there so fair enough yeah the younger uh, version not as much though obviously gotcha yeah uh going back to cliff jumper cliff jumper is the name of a transformer see yeah. he's the transformers guy yeah. for the most part i don't know this stuff <laughs> um jump. yeah i don't know uh, who is it it's rami malik who's been in a lot of stuff uh, apparently mike myers is also in this i didn't notice him in the trailers really? he was also in another movie recently with uh margot robbie um, so I think he's kind of making a small little return maybe on the side. I'm worried about a couple things. I'm worried that it's going to be a very made for TV documentary, um, yeah. with no, like just kind of, a. we got to this part, we got to this part, we got to this part. Great. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I'm not too worried about the overall, like I wasn't too worried about the look of him, just the way that the trailer showed it. It just seems like. It just seems like there might not be as much weight to it as I'm hoping for, but obviously it's just a trailer. So, yeah. you know, it got me excited and the music in that trailer was great. How they linked in all the stuff, all the different musics together into one like great compilation. compilation. Yeah. yeah. Um, in terms of voice, I don't remember what Freddie Mercury's real voice sounded like. Incredible. He, incredible. Well, no, yeah. no, no, not not his singing voice. I'm talking about his no. normal voice. Oh, yeah. I mean, even his normal voice was like, yeah, was it? it was I got to cool, look at some stuff. I think what you <laughs> what you have to remember with movies like this is either you're going to be like it, it's not something that you grew up listening to or yeah. for me for that matter, like grew up listening to. So, the more that you are a fan of Freddie Mercury's is like that's going to dictate how much you're going to like or you know sure. or or love for this sure, sure, like sure. you know the movie. So I think for a lot of people it's kind of he's he's an iconic. Um, he's an icon. Uh, he's an icon, yeah, right? Yeah, like yeah. I mean, he and and he died young. Yep. So again, that adds to the mystery of like of him as a person. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people are looking forward to it, but to sit there and go like, 
Yeah, yeah. You know, it's going to be huge. I, I don't. I don't think it'll. I don't think it'll be huge in the theaters. Yeah. Um. I'm. I'm worried. I hope I'm wrong. But I'm a little bit worried on some stuff. And one, I'm worried that they're going to whitewash it. And by whitewash it, I mean like water it yeah, down. Yeah, water down. Um. There has been a lot of stuff around his life. I hope they don't bypass. Um, his sexual orientation, especially yeah. now, yeah, um, especially in will. this day and age, and I, I think that's important to the character of Freddie Mercury of how he identified himself and how he carried himself. I agree. He was. It seemed to me from a person that just has seen performances of his on YouTube and and other stuff that it he was who he was and mm-hmm. he was proud of it. And I think that is very important, especially today. I think um, when they do get to that point, I think what they're going to do is show what it was back then yeah. and what it like, what his, you know, his fears about, you know, coming out and all that kind of stuff. I think yeah. that's what they're going to focus on Go more. With. Yeah. So see, that, and I don't know the timeline. Yeah. So I don't you, know could when. See, you could see like, I think that'll make a great contrast to the way society is now, right? Yep. Like, I mean, back then, if you said you were gay or bisexual or whatever it was, like, you were shunned. Like, sure. It oh, was, for sure. Yeah. You know, but now it's it's more open. It's, a, you know, so I kind of hope that they do show that darker side so that people can, who aren't familiar with, you know, what it was like back then uh, to be in their shoes, get an understanding of it. That's how, how I hope they go with it. Fair enough. Yeah. Um Hate to kill the mood. This is from Julian Mitchell Five, but I would be excited for Bohemian Rhapsody. But knowing the fact that it was directed by Brian Singer, who did the X Men movies, mm-hmm. done some other. He's also done uh, the Usual Suspects. Okay, <coughs> thank you. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <coughs> that, uh, when, when you hear Brian Singer's name, like, <laughs> uh, well, I don't know because the dude was accused of sexually assaulting people a lot. Mm. Interesting. So um, was Nev Schuler, by the way, from uh, Catfish. Did you see that? No. Schulman or whatever. Nev Schulman. Was it sexual harassment or abuse? Like, what was it? No, he, he was charged fired. With? Oh. Sorry. Yeah, I'm looking at this now. It looks like Brian Singer was fired from Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We'll get to the we'll bottom of this. It. We have we don't have a lot of time left yeah. anyways. Um, Bohemian. Yeah, he was fired. Oh. I did this on when I used to do the news roundup on Fridays. Yeah, okay. he was fired. So he's, I don't know how much of it is going to be his movie or not, but he's gone. So, you know, hmm. that's something. Um, All right, we've got...